Welcome back, friends. Islet here with a Reddit relationship story that's one of the most ridiculous stories I've ever covered in this channel. And make sure you stick around to the end because there's a few updates and this one's just out of control. So he's 30 and she's 26. He says, I'm monogamous in my dating nature. However, my wife of two years and I recently discovered that she's polygamous in her dating nature. Okay, first of all, dating nature, you're married. There's no dating nature. And second of all, you just discovered that she's polygamist. I mean, this isn't just like figuring out she's a diabetic or something. He says, learning this has brought out a lot of insecurities for me, especially when she talks to the other guy. We've tried doing a three person bedroom situation together to make it a little more comfortable for me and get used to him, but it just brought up more and more of my insecurities. <laughs> I realize I might be too insecure for her, which is gonna be toxic for the relationship and it's gonna cause her to be toxic towards me. Is there any way that I can learn to be more polygamist and accept her for everything she is? Because I really do love her. Bro, what? <laughs> he says, I keep bringing up the same kinds of conversations and questions, which is annoying to her and getting tiresome for me. Is there any way for me to stay with my wife and allow her to be a polygamous person and me being a monogamous one? Uh, yeah, it's called being a cuck. It's completely pathetic and I don't recommend it. So there's actually a long backstory to this that he posted a few months ago, but I just got to say real quick that this is what society has done to men. This guy literally just said that he's afraid that his insecurities about the fact that she wants to go sleep around are going to be toxic for the relationship as if He's the problem and not her. And this is exactly the mentality that so many of a certain type of people want to spread these days, claiming that if men aren't okay with women just doing whatever they want and walking all over them, that somehow they're insecure and they have a problem. I'm so tired of hearing this nonsense. But anyway, let's hear the rest of this guy's story. So nine months back, this guy posted his first post and it says this. I think my wife is pregnant from a friend with benefits. I don't know how or why, but she asked me one day to have a three-person bedroom situation with her best friend for her birthday, and she insisted it was just about bedroom stuff. I found this hard to believe, and all my insecurities told me to just shut that down right away. <laughs> yeah, you should have. But because we went through some dramatic experiences earlier in the year, I figured I might take it easy on her and allow her to have some kind of fun for her birthday that she's been fantasizing about. Okay, bro, I don't care what kind of problems you were having, this is clearly not the answer. He says, I was hurt to know that she wanted to sleep with someone else other than me, especially since we're newlyweds. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that came as a shocker. Reluctantly, I agreed, and we had the three-person bedroom situation. It wasn't good for me at all, and I didn't really enjoy myself. I could barely keep it up because a huge part of me was really turned off. Uh, yeah, the straight monogamous part. He says, afterwards, she wanted to get a plan B, and I don't think it's going to work. My only thing is if I'm going to stay with her and the baby if she's pregnant or if I'm going to stay with her at all because I don't think I should ever have to share my wife with anyone else no matter what. <laughs> yeah, you think? I realize she's incapable of being in a stable marriage at the moment and I'm ready to separate so that she can have the freedom to do what she wants and I don't have to go through the emotional turmoil. At the moment, my friend, it doesn't sound like this woman is ever going to be capable of a normal marriage. But then he posts another post about six months after this one where he says, I don't really want to be with anyone other than my wife, but my wife wants to be with other people. My wife and I recently learned that she's polygamist in her dating nature. <laughs> Stop saying that. This is after we got married. Yeah, how convenient. And I chose to accept that against my better judgment. The reason I believe I accepted it is because I didn't want her to cheat on me and have to go through that whole process. Bro, what are you talking about? I mean, how much worse could this situation possibly be? He says, but I'm regretting accepting the polygamy thing in my marriage because it sent me on an emotional roller coaster. But I find myself not really wanting to leave her or be with anyone else. I often feel lonely or feel unwanted by her because of the thought of her being with someone else, although that person isn't really around right now. They had a falling out and they're no longer together, but she talks about him all the time and they do occasionally talk. She uses me to vent about him and the things that he's doing with his life, and I'm getting tired of hearing about it, but I enjoy talking with my wife, so I put up with it. Or rather, I enjoy her talking to me because she's not a very talkative person. I'm the kind of person that does like conversation, so her opening up about anything is a good thing to me, but now it's really weighing heavily on my mental and emotional state. Is this guy for real? What is going on here? I don't think I've ever covered a more pathetic story than this one in the history of this channel. But anyway, he says, we've talked about her being with this person again after they got over whatever they're dealing with. And she says that she wouldn't want to be with anyone else if it doesn't work out with them. It'll just be me and her. Oh, well, thank God for that. <laughs> I have a little confidence and comfort in that because my hopes of her being monogamous are completely gone. So there's a bit of an expectation that she'll find someone again since she's polygamist in her relationship archetype. 
bro, you are just throwing around so many nonsensical words. Stop behaving as if she's just a polygamist by nature. Like this is something that's deep within her. This is just her choosing to be a terrible wife. What are you doing? So then this guy has another post that he posted last week where he goes into more detail about everything going on with this other guy and their relationship. So the title of the post is, my wife is making me angry. <laughs> He says, I've been married for two years now, and at first it was great, up until October of last year. First, I want to say that aside from everything that happened, my wife is still a great person, and I honestly believe she was out of her mind and making mistakes. Well, the latter part of that sentence is true, but the former, I'm not so sure about that. She's still an incredible woman, and I'm proud of her in a lot of ways. I honestly think she's great, just human and messed up. <sighs> wow, this guy's really confused. I need to vent this out, and advice would be great. So last year, my wife had a miscarriage, and that messed us both up mentally. Her more than I thought. Through this ordeal, I should have noticed she needed more help. After the miscarriage, an old flame entered her life, and she was excited to see him again after what had recently happened. Oh, I guess that was the thing that he mentioned in the beginning of this post. Him wanting to give her this because of that, which makes no sense. He says, I guess it really took her mind off of things. She expressed to me that she wanted to hang out with him. He says, I wasn't comfortable with the idea and told her so. She assured me that nothing would happen again and I wasn't comfortable, but I agree. Big mistake for me. I regret it. They got close fast. It was scary and her behavior was very different. Then they both made a plot to trick me into a test to see if I'd be okay with the open marriage. I failed. I thought I was being patient and understanding. Nope, just a fool. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. She wanted to open up the marriage with him and I was furious. I hid my feelings and agreed. To this day, I don't know why. After some time, I confronted her and cleared the air. That's when I found out that it was a test. I was hurt but relieved, but I made another mistake that I regret. We went out for drinks, the three of us. I really let my hair down and was very drunk. He was going through something and needed empathy, sympathy, and comfort. I like how he's saying, yeah, this random guy who I don't know was going through a tough time, so I offered my wife to him. Like, what? But anyway, he continues. We went to the docks to be alone and speak to him. Somehow, we all ended up railing my wife. He and I never touched, but we did my wife, and it was amazing. Okay, yeah, sure you didn't. After he left, my wife and I were together again alone, and it was amazing. I don't know why, but it was. But from then, it got serious. I thought that would be the end of it, but I was horribly wrong. Over the next eight months, I've had a seriously negative mental state. I've dealt with anger, feelings of guilt, and violin. I hurt my wife in a fight. No bruises or nothing to go to the hospital for, but the pain was real. I'm not a violin type of guy. I'm usually a pacifist. I regret ever doing this, and I know she'll never trust me the same, and I can't blame her. I can't trust her either. All the time I found a way to forgive and let the betrayal go, but the other feelings are there. I've been trying to understand her, but she's not the best communicator. <laughs> oh, she's communicating all right. You're just not getting the message. So to this day, I'm still confused and my anger is spiking. I've broken walls, what? And inanimate objects, and I see she's worried about the kids. I am too. Wait, there's kids involved in this? I thought you had a miscarriage. There's other, are they her kids, both of your kids? What's going on here? He says, I never hurt them intentionally, but accidents happen. Okay, this is getting kind of crazy now. So I don't want any more regrets, especially with my kids. I was going to a consultant, but sacrificed the money to help pay for her classes at school. Another regret because I need the help, but I want to make up for my part in all this. I know I need help, but I always put her and the family first. Okay, first off, to this guy, just leave this situation. And second of all, to anyone else out there watching this, this is exactly what I often say, maybe not so much on this channel, but to people in real life. I always say, you live with crazy, you go crazy. And unfortunately, situations like this are exactly what happens because even though I can't condone what this guy's talking about with the whole throwing things and whatever he's talking about in this story, maybe he is just a bad person, I don't know, but there are a lot of guys out there who really are decent, good people. And then after a long period of time of being manipulated and treated horribly by their spouse, and this goes for women and men, it's not just men, but they'll end up doing things and behaving in ways that they never expected or never thought they would because they've just been so stressed out and driven to a point where they're just not themselves anymore. And I liken this to poking a caged animal. Basically, if you have an animal in a cage, it could be a nice, sweet, normal animal. But if every day you're just jabbing at it, poking at it and messing with it while it's in that cage, eventually it's going to go from being a nice, normal creature to a wild, frantic, out of control creature that lashes out whenever anybody comes near it. And this is why I always tell people, whether it's men or women, when you're in one of these situations where you're with somebody who's driving you to this point where you're behaving in ways you never thought you would, that means you absolutely need to get out of the relationship because even though they're pushing you into being this type of person, ultimately your choices are your own and you're responsible for your own behavior. So if you end up doing something that you wish you hadn't, you're gonna be the 
one responsible for it, whether they took a part in you doing that or not. Now, apparently this guy has kids, which he didn't even mention that until now. Who knows how old they are or what the situation is there. I mean, he said that he's only been with this woman for two years. Even with the kids involved, that especially means that he needs to get away from this person because now that he's actually lashing out and doing these things, he needs to be around somebody who doesn't put him in this type of mental state and he needs to not be... You mean, he's saying that he fears what he might do to the kids or whatever. It's like, this guy sounds like he's going out of his mind. So for the sake of the children and himself and his wife, he absolutely needs to just leave this situation immediately. But anyway, that's all I have to say about this story. What do you all think about this one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and click like for the algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get into the next story. So this guy's 22 and his wife is 23. He says, this is such a difficult topic to say to random strangers, but I can't discuss this with anyone in my life. So this is my only option. Me and my wife have been married for around 14 months, and we still haven't done anything in the bedroom. During the first month of our marriage, she repeatedly said that she was shy and stuff, which I understood and let her take her time. And then I started initiating again after three months into our marriage, but she kept turning it down and started giving excuses each time. Uh-oh, sounds like this chick might not even be into men. At five months into our marriage, I gave up because I literally couldn't understand why she kept turning me down. And at this point, I started making DUA for her. D-U-A, what is that? Oh, I think it's a typo. It means make do, like put up with it. Both of us are Muslims, by the way. He says, then at 11 months into our marriage, I tried again, but like before, she turned me down and I honestly don't know what to do. My friend, she's probably just not into men. She married you as a beard, essentially, because you're Muslims and she doesn't want to admit the truth because your culture doesn't accept her. He says, we had fights because of this many times and there were many times that I sat down with her to talk about the topic, but she either would give me some random excuse or straight out insult me for keeping on asking her. And I'm even more annoyed because for those from South Asia, you know how a bride and groom's family always keeps asking when we're going to have a child. This was an arranged marriage and we knew each other for two years before we were married and we talk to each other before our wedding with permission of our parents. And I'm going to sound like a child here, but I was really excited about my wedding and wanted to look best for her. So after I met her for the first time, I wanted to improve myself. I started going to the gym regularly and took care of myself. And I got to say that I'm in the best shape that I've ever been in my life. And I'm proud of it. But it makes me cry sometimes that I did my best to look good. I did my best. I did my best. And standing beside her, she doesn't even care about me. But this will most likely ruin the relationship of both of our families since my wife's father is my dad's friend. During the last two months, I honestly regret marrying her. I feel like I should tell this, but she's a stay-at-home wife and we have hired maids and cooks. So if you think that she's tired from housework, she doesn't do anything. Is this relationship even worth it? My friend, no, it's not worth it because I would bet any amount of money that means something to me that this woman, like I said, just isn't into men. It's not you, it's probably men in general. I actually knew a woman who was like this. She had an arranged marriage, she was from India. She got married, she moved to America, and she was a coworker of an ex-girlfriend of mine. And my ex-girlfriend would tell me all the time how it was so obvious that this woman was not into her husband in any way whatsoever. And just like this situation, she was in an arranged marriage. She couldn't tell the truth about her true self because of her religion and all of that and the culture. And she just lived this sham marriage with her husband. I don't know if he actually knew and he was a part of it or if he was just had no idea and she was just completely living a lie even to him. But unfortunately, this happens to a lot of people who know that their families or their culture won't accept them if they are the way I'm sure this woman is. So you honestly have no choice but to end things with her. And then even if I am wrong about this, a wife who isn't willing to be with you in bed is not going to work out long term. So you might as well cut your losses. If this is really affecting you negatively to this degree, which is completely understandable, then obviously you just got to do what you got to do. But that's all I got to say about this story. What do you all think about this one? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Click like for the algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with someone you think might like it. And check out my main channel for more life and relationship based videos. Till then, hope you all take care of yourselves. Support and be good to good women. Peace.